is Otis TV. I'm Dale Elder Knight. On this T-Spotlight, we're going to look at a tarantula that I have been shown in a very long time, and that's my Samaporus Armenia, the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. I uh, just happened to catch this one out in the open uh, feeding, which is very rare for this tarantula. At least my Armenia is always hiding, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you guys a quick update on my Venezuelan Sun Tiger. Check her out. This is Shadow, my Samaporus Armenia, the Venezuelan Sun Tiger, making an appearance on camera for a ver for the first time in a very long time. Just recently molted, and this is a a mill, her first mill since she molted. Quite sure this is a female. I've had her for a very long time. She's actually very slow growing and very reclusive. She had the most awesome attacks on every single feeding video I had when in her first year when she was like a an inch to two inches long then she just it just stopped and she went into hiding wouldn't eat on camera and uh, didn't molt very often um, but wanted to get this opportunity to put her on camera this has been the first time I've had her out completely in the open to be filmed and you can tell by her enclosure there's the molt over there that this little lady is always busy whenever I rehouse her. She's not in need of a rehouse anytime soon. She's in a small critter keeper. Um, just a quick little story on this uh, lady. If you haven't seen uh, some of my prior vids, the very first day I got this lady from uh, Pet Center USA, very first day, I opened up her little uh, pill vial and she ran right out of it, out of our enclosure, and was lost in my room. I tore the room apart. I mean, she was only about an inch long. Couldn't find her. I was pissed off, and then I just kind of gave up. Looked down between my feet, and she was just sitting just right between my feet on the carpet. I actually got her back in her enclosure that night. She was gone for maybe a couple hours. But uh got lucky with this lady. I, I think about that every single time I see her, that I came very close to actually not even having even a few hours with her because she escaped right out of the pill bottle so very lucky to still have this one because she could have very easily went down a vent or something and uh, never to be seen again like I said this one is actually uh, very slow growing this is one of my uh, favorite teas or species actually of tarantula one of the tarantulas that got me into the hobby really along with like the P. ornata, the P. metallica and uh, the B. Alboceps, uh, some of those uh, teas, uh, the chocolate golden knees. This is one of the ones that really caught my eye when I first started learning about teas and researching them and checking out all the different genus and all the different species. Uh, I just always liked that rump. I mean, that's my favorite uh, pattern, probably on any tea as far as rumps go. It's just awesome. And I think it's just because it contrasts with the carapace and the legs and then you get those beautiful flame licking uh, patterns on the uh, on the feet you have that greenish black carapace and then you just throw in the fact that these are semi arboreal uh, terrestrials kind of I mean this one is actually not arboreal at all she's actually a burrower the older she gets she's starting to come out more she used to be very skittish but as you can see now with every molt she's actually um, basically starting to become a, like you know more temperament of a of an adult and she's not quite an adult yet she's still got some growing to go I would say estimated wise I haven't had a good length on her because I haven't had a good molt and it's hard to get a length on her because she's always in her burrow I can never see her really splayed out but right now she's looking at around four inches long with some uh, serious growing to do so looking forward to that I'm just happy she got out uh, to feed because I haven't seen her feed in a long time. This is actually uh, pretty interesting uh, footage I'm getting of her. This is not something she does often. This is more or less what I see of her <laughs> when I do see her. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Usually, if I do see her feeding, this is pretty much the view I get. 
down in her barrel and uh, she eats down there and she's very content and happy to stay down there. Only time I ever see her out is in the morning. She might come up for a drink or just to walk around and stretch her legs, but usually she's down in there. Um, she has always been a good eater, just not a very good eater on camera. And a lot of people forget I even own this tarantula because I really, you know, it's hard to get good footage of a tarantula that's encased or surrounded by webs and a very small enclosure and very reclusive that doesn't like light. I'm actually shocked that she's not spooked by this light shining down in there. And I'm really shocked that she was out in the open earlier. And uh, you can take a really good uh, look at how she, I set this one up. Very simple. Um, because she likes to burrow, I'll give her a little bit more substrate at the bottom. Um, I make sure she always has something she can hide underneath. I try not to give her anything that she can get too encased with. Um, and I can't get to her in a hurry if I have to. Um, but she does have enough room to molt in case, uh, you know, sometimes they'll spin their uh, webs a little bit too tight. But as you can see here, this is a beautiful tunnel system she's made. She has plenty of room to molt. And she's usually hiding right down here. And normally when she molts, she molts somewhere over here. And over here, there's a lot more room, and she's very smart with her molten. She, uh, she's not, even though she eats very well, she's not a big eater. As you can see, there's a bulbous, um, uh, someone's food left over. And she takes out our, this is like her trash can area. She puts over her, um, her old laundry, leftover food, and I just take it out. She's very neat. I rarely have to change her enclosure around. She doesn't really destroy it too much. Um, she leaves her water dish in place, so she's actually really a perfect tea, a very quiet tea. I mean, she's not really a lot going on. I, um, I really haven't checked her temperament in a while. I mean, she doesn't throw any threat postures or anything, but, uh, sometimes I feel like I could actually handle her if I wanted to. Um, transferring her is not a bad, I mean, it's not bad at all. She just kind of walks out, so I really haven't had any problems out of her, so I can't really complain. Uh, she's not mean. I know some people have some really, uh, mean uh, sun tigers, so I'm fortunate to have one that's a little bit more on the mellow side. But uh, she's doing awesome. I'm really glad I could uh, give you guys an update on her. And uh, I don't anticipate you'll see her too much in the future unless she uh, starts changing up a little bit and comes out, or I can catch her molten or something. But she's pretty much a tarantula that does all her her uh, stuff at night in the dark. So unfortunately, she won't be featured too many on my videos. I don't really like to mess with her too much because I kind of like her little layback uh, temperament. I want to keep her that way. Hope you enjoyed this PR Mania Spotlight. If you're new to Day or Night at Zach's TV and you want to see more of my uh, YouTube uh, playlists and uh, videos that I've made, you can always go to my YouTube channel page, Day or Night at Zach's TV, check out the playlist and subscribe. I want to thank all my uh, supporters out there and my subscribers can't thank you enough. Without you guys, I wouldn't be making this video. So thank you for all your comments and your support and your uh, constant feedback and uh, faithful watching. Uh, there'll be more videos to come, both on the reptile side and the arachnid side. So uh, check out uh, videos. I try to get out one a week for you guys. And uh, sometimes if there's a lot of activity, I can bump it up to two videos a week. But one seems to be working. So I hope you guys enjoy all the videos I make for you. Without you, I wouldn't do it. So I uh, want to thank you guys again. So uh, take care. Be safe out there, guys and girls, and uh, look for uh, more Dare Night Exotics TV videos to come. Take care, guys.